give it a snap. Hello and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're going to be talking about JBL by Harman. In particular, we're going to talk about their Tune 215 TWS budget-friendly earbuds. Yes, people, these things are on a cheap right now. So if you haven't bought them, you probably should. All right, in this video, we're going to be doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said earbuds. Then we're gonna slap those bad boys into my ears and put them to the At Home with Lucas test to figure out are these something you should actually buy or skip altogether? It does happen, people, it does happen. I'm here for you so you don't have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at these bad boys right quick. So the top left, you have the JBL by Harman, an image of what's to come in the box with the earbuds looking like they're popping right out of said case. Pure bass, zero cables, love that saying right there. Bluetooth, of course. Take a look over here. This is the Tune 215, true wireless comfort fit, hands-free calling. That is what's up, people, woo! You got 25 hours, five hours in the bud, so that's a little bit less than some of the other earbuds out there. Five hours is on the small side. You typically want six and up, but five hours is good for most people. All right, let's take a look down here. Ooh, six millimeter drivers, people. Woo, that's very good. That is good, that's not bad. That is good for the price. USB-C, that is awesome. Okay. Ooh, fast charging, what? Fast charging on these cheap earbuds? That is incredible. Wow, 15 minutes equals one hour. So typically fast charging is 10 minutes equals one hour. So it's a little bit slower than the rest, but that is incredible. Dare to listen, you know we will. Bam, ooh, that's cool. I like how it has the orange in the background. Let's take a closer look. That is really, really nice. I like that a lot. It's very subtle, it's very simple. These are budget-friendly earbuds, so of course you're not gonna get all the thrills of a true JBL unboxing like you would on some of their more expensive earbuds. Quick start guide, you definitely want to read this if you wanna know what your earbuds are all about. This is so, so important. You have to read through all of this, otherwise you're gonna end up using them out in the wild and not know what is going on. All right, let's take a look at the cables. Standard JBL orange, love that. Very, very cool, very, very stylish. Take a look at the silicone. Ooh, I like that clear gray. That is very nice, wow. All right, okay, ooh, I'm liking the feel of this. This is very, very nice feeling plastic. Very simple, very straightforward. So it's a little bit taller than I would have expected, but then again, those earbuds are very long. So it's it's probably about an inch bigger than I would normally like. I typically like the cases to be about that thick, but this doesn't feel super terrible in the hand. You have the three indicator lights right chair. You of course have their etched in JBL right there. And there is the USB-C port in the back. Very nice, very simple. It almost looks like it can stand up on its own. That is really cool. All right, let's crack this open. No indicator lights. Let's see if it has the flip. Ooh! It's got the flip in both ways. Now I'm not liking the fact it flips up, um, but it is very satisfying. <laughs> okay, I've never, I don't think I've ever had a, a case that would flip out. So the only reason why that's happening is the magnet in here is not super, super powerful. And if you look, the lid is very, top heavy it's very tall it's the tallest lid i've seen in quite some time and you could almost smack yeah you could almost look okay 
<laughs> this is okay. This is a, okay. This is reminiscent of the Zippo. If you remember the Zippo, you can give it a snap uh, and then you light it. I don't know if you are um, ever used a Zippo, but you would do the two snap. You go bam, bam, and then light it. Um, that's really cool. So if you show up and someone's got like a two hundred dollar pair of earbuds, you bust out your case, you give it, you give it the snap, pat, pat, boom, you're good to go. Um, that is really cool. Let's take a look at the hinge in the back. Very simple hinge, very straightforward. This also has the, the sort of locking in place. Um, this is really cool. It actually locks into place. So it takes a little bit of pressure, like right there, boom. So you can hear it even. Yeah, that is cool. That, that means the spring is really trying to hold that lid back so you don't have it flip forward while you're trying to get your earbuds out and it doesn't close on your finger. So I like that. Um, the hinge is definitely solid, but the magnet up front is definitely weak. Um, I really like how it's molded perfectly for the earbuds. JBL does a phenomenal job with that. And of course the charging pins are way down at the bottom. So if you did have any problems with charging, you'd have to get your Q-tip and your rubbing alcohol and go deep diving people straight down in there. All right, wow, this is so fun. I love that. All right, feels amazing in the hand, of course, like I said, it's a little bit too big, but I kind of like the shape of it. It's not its not a case that it doesn't feel slimy or gross. It's got that perfect amount of texture on it. Very, very cool, very nice. Love that so much. All right, enough jibba jab, people. Let's take a look at the earbuds themselves. Woo! Okay, wow, all right, so the earbuds are very, reminiscent of this case like the shape of the case and the shape of the earbuds very very similar it's kind of got this slightly boxy look to it like it's not trying to be super thin it's saying you know what this is this is who i am people and this is what i'm doing all right let's go ahead and walk around it Okay, that is a physical button. All right, that is not capacitive, so you're gonna have to give it some push. And the way these earbuds are set up, when you do give it a push, it's probably gonna hit on this part of your ear and not push down into your ear canal, which is actually a good thing. I, I like the two-tone right here. You kind of have this, this tannish gray, and you have a tannish um, gray sort of sandstone right there. This is a little bit grippy, which is nice. So when your finger is tracking up, you're going to be able to find it and give it a good push. That right there is definitely an indicator light. There's no getting around that one. That is not a microphone. There's no hole. All right, let's continue on down the side. There is a very, very nice etched in microphone port. Wow. That is, that is probably the most etching I've seen for a microphone port in quite some time. Wow, look at that. So they really want to make sure that your voice gets right in there. You have your pads for the charging. They're nice and recessed deep inside there. So you're not going to get any grease or sweat or gunk on them. That is very cool. Very visible right and very, very visible left right there. That is really nice. I like that a lot. All right, let's continue around them. So the build quality on these is a little bit different than the case. So this is actually a glossy, um, smooth plastic right here. And then you kind of have that grippy, bumpy, uh, textured plastic out on the top. So I like that sort of look. It gives it this, this little bump and for such a budget friendly pair of earbuds that's incredible typically they just make it out of one piece of plastic and they call it a day but jbl is like no we're going to not only do two-tone but we're also going to give you a slight bit of glossiness that is huge that is a big thumbs up from me and i like that a lot i also like the fact there's an indicator light on both earbuds some of the cheaper earbuds out there believe it or not they do not have indicator lights they just won't put them on there to save money so jbl is like look we respect our people and we respect what they want all right let's take a look at the silicone itself and these are actually quite decent they have a good amount of rubber ring around the tip which is exactly what you want and they feel like they're made out of actually good silicone some budget earbuds out there will 
give you really cheap and junky silicone and when you put it in your ear it just feels gross and you really just don't like it and it doesn't create a good seal this is made out of silicone that is going to seal really well you can see they went the extra mile once again they're going the extra mile and they're selling these things for pretty cheap so that is absolutely amazing big thumbs up to you jbl right off the bat the shape is a little bit interesting i will admit it's uh, it's chunkier and thicker and more boxy like i said earlier but i won't know until i get these in my ear and then i'll figure out just how comfortable they actually are all right let's do the maiden voyage let's put them in the case and see how well they actually function going in and out because that's going to be huge that's going to be very important all right i have the left ear over here oh this is interesting so it has to drop in oh i've never seen it that way before what okay this is crazy all right huh wow all right there it is so let's check and see how well they magnetize in yeah they're locked in there like that is not bad all right i'm gonna go and just pull them out and see how easy they come out whoa that is incredible so because of the boxy nature of these earbuds it's super easy to get them in and out and because it's textured right here and it's grippy back there these may be the easiest earbuds to get out of the case wow totally blown away five stars right off the bat for that feature alone the magnets are super solid like i'm gonna let go about right here and it's pulling it in already boom that is exactly what you want to see that means these are not going to fall out because the lid is a little bit wonky if you drop it i don't think these are going to pop out and go into any sewer drains or get lost so that's really cool oh i like the fact the jbl logo is prominently up that is good design. That is really, really good design. Good job, JBL. Wow. All right, so all in all, I'm gonna say first impressions, I'm happy. I'm liking the indicator lights. Very, very, whoa. Okay, hold on, we gotta take a closer look. That is not, okay, I've never seen this before. That is like a tinted indicator light. And when it turns on, it becomes blue, but it's tinted black. Am I seeing this right? <laughs> that is so cool. Wow. That's wild. Look at that. Yeah. Huh. And then it's matching up here. This is such a nice indicator light. That is exactly what you want. Very subtle, very, wow, that is very cool. All right. Coming up, we're gonna be putting these to the test. I'm so, so excited to get these things reviewed for you guys. Let's. Get into it, people. All right, I just paired these bad boys up to my Samsung 4K TV right there. The pairing process was completely seamless. Big, big thumbs up for that. I'm hoping to be immersed in a good movie with good audio, bass, and all that. And I wanna have that true theater experience on a budget people so the fit is really nice they're a little bit bigger than i would have thought they definitely stick out a little bit more but nonetheless they're very very comfortable and they're completely locked into place so let's jump into this theater mode all right just finished watching a movie and wow do these pump out some premium sound quality i am completely blown away for the price of these earbuds they should not sound this good the fit is perfect. I was eating, I was smiling, I was laughing a little bit. Um, definitely very, very good quality earbuds for the price, totally blown away past the movie mode with flying colors. I was able to walk into my kitchen. I was able to go into other rooms in my house with these paired up to my TV. No glitches, no problems, just awesome, awesome audio. The bass is phenomenal. The sound quality, truly, immersive i couldn't hear my air purifier running which is kind of loud i couldn't hear myself snapping when i was just a foot away from my ear so definitely felt immersed had some noise canceling even though these are not even noise canceling earbuds all in all i'm gonna say big thumbs up past the movie tests Woo! 
Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm going to tell you a small batch means you're going to get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous roasting contraptions, and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch. So click the link down below, go buy some amazing coffee, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> All right, I got these paired back up with my TV. I'm gonna be doing a 45 minute beach body workout with the 645 crew right there. So this is gonna be testing the earbuds for bounce. I'm gonna be doing a total body power on this one. So I'll be lifting some dumbbells. I'll be doing a wide range of exercises and movements. And it's really gonna test how well these actually stay in my ear. And most of the workouts I do with the 645. Oh, there's my daughter. She's gonna work out with me. Most of the workouts I do, they break me down. I start to sweat. So it's going to put a little bit of sweat into the ears and it's going to get them, you know, really worked. And it's going to tell me a lot about these earbuds. I'll be going upside down a little bit, you know, doing all the normal stuff. So let's jump into that. All right, that was 45 minutes of beach body. These earbuds are absolutely amazing. Completely had me immersed in my workout. I was doing all kinds of crazy maneuvers. I was breaking a little bit of a sweat. Um, definitely check out 645 from beach body if you want to experience it for yourself at home. Um, I, I heard music that I don't think I ever heard before on my TV. Usually I have my TV kind of low when I do my workout, but this time with the earbuds, I could hear everything only had to adjust them a couple times. I was upside down at times. I was all over the place. They completely lock in. So if you're doing anything where you're running or cycling or doing anything where you're bouncing around, um, you're definitely gonna wanna buy these. They completely lock in. The only thing they did was they got a little bit loose like that, but that was absolutely fine. I didn't have any problem putting them back in when I was upside down a couple times. Didn't move at all. So very, very solid, good for the gym workout good for the at-home workout I'm, I'm impressed <laughs> all right I am fully suited up and ready to go for a two plus mile run this is gonna be testing how well these things stay in my ears when I have a consistent bounce going on my cadence is pretty good but of course when you run you are jumping in motion so that's gonna test how well these bad boys actually lock into the ear and of course I'm gonna test for immersion Holy crap, people, these things are absolutely amazing. The sound quality is top notch. The fact that they completely lock in to your ears while you're running the entire time. I did not even feel them move at all, not up or down, and they're quite big. And for the, the fact that they just lock in totally is absolutely amazing. And the bass quality, wow. I was listening to some bass heavy music and I definitely was impressed, people. These things are true running earbuds. I barely was focusing on my body. I was barely focusing on what was going around me. I was just immersed in the music, people. These things are absolutely amazing. Big thumbs up. Definitely passed the run test. Okay, so this is going to be a two-part test. The first part is going to be the sound quality of the phone calls. So these earbuds are actually producing all the sound you hear and pushing it into my Note 20 Ultra. So everything you're hearing right now is actually coming from the microphones on said earbuds. Yes, people. Part two is gonna be a sound test. So I'm gonna see how well these actually cancel noise without being noise canceling earbuds. I have my shot back right there. That thing is very, very loud. It's actually the loudest thing I have in my entire house. 
and my garage combined, everything. So in this, we're going to test to see, can I listen to a podcast on a medium volume without having to crank it up too high? Wow, totally passed the sound test. I could completely hear my podcast on medium volume. I had to turn it up one tick for medium, but nonetheless, I could hear them crystal clear. So definitely buy these if you want um, budget-friendly earbuds that uh, cancel out noise when they're not even supposed to. <laughs> okay, I wanted to take a quick minute to do a size comparison. So this is, of course, the JBL earbuds, and these are the QHQO earbuds that I reviewed on this channel a little while back, and I really wanted to just show you exactly how big these earbuds really are. And then of course, I'm gonna show you how big this case actually is, just so you get an understanding before you make your final decision. So here we go. Here is a size comparison of the case. So this case is massive. It is so big and it actually gets bigger as you start to use it. It, it does not get any smaller. You put it in your pocket and you really notice just how ginormous it really is. It is a beast of a case. There's no getting around it and there's no real reason for it. These earbuds fit in here very easily like that. These earbuds have to drop all the way down into there. So, okay, so here we go with the size comparison. So you can see right off the bat very quickly that these are much, much smaller. And I believe these have a 6.8 millimeter driver. So there's no reason for the size difference in terms of driver size. This does not need to be bigger for the driver size. Also, the battery life is basically comparable between the two of these. This battery life is five hours. This one I think is four hours. So very, very similar battery life, but you can just see just how massive these JBLs are. And I really wanted to make sure I emphasize that so that you didn't buy them and then end up with a giant pair of earbuds that you did not mean to buy. So if you're looking for a smaller pair of earbuds, these are on sale right now for $20 on Amazon. These are on sale for I think about 30 something dollars. All right, so I wanted to do a case size comparison because I really want you to know just how big this case is. And the reason why I have this JBL Go speaker over here is I'm going to be doing a size comparison. This is the Go 2 speaker. So this is their, um, I think they have the Go 3 out right now. So this is the second generation, not the third generation. And, but I want to do a quick size comparison. They're both JBL and you can just see how massive this case really is actually as thick as the JBL Go, and it's not that much smaller in terms of size. It is something that is, you can't get away from how big these earbuds are. So you really, really, really need to do your homework and understand that these are giant earbuds and the case is very, very large. So if you're wearing tight pants all the time and you don't really have a lot of pocket room, I would say skip these all together. But if you're throwing these into a bag, you're throwing them into a purse, you're throwing them into your fanny pack, these are gonna work. They're gonna be great. You're gonna enjoy them and they're gonna be awesome. All right, so I've been using these bad boys long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review for you guys. So the case is actually very, very solid. If you did drop them, they're gonna take a hit and keep on going. You shouldn't have any problems. The indicator lights work exactly as you'd want them to. The battery inside of this thing is very beefy. It's exactly as advertised, so you don't have to worry about battery life. But overall, with the earbuds and the case, you're not gonna get the biggest battery and the biggest bang for your buck. So if you're looking for the longest battery life, skip these, go with something else. The charging port in the back works exactly as you'd want it to. You can actually set it down on your desk and have the charging cable go around your desk nice and tucked away. And then you can just flip these open, take them out for Zoom calls, take them out for listening and whatnot. So if you wanna have a clean desk, this is something that you can buy. They're big, but if you're just putting them on your desk, that's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> and the fact that the lid opens so easily while it's on your desk, you don't have to worry about them falling over. You just literally flip them up, grab them out, close the lid and off you go. So the case is actually really nice, but it is ginormous. So you need to know this is a beast, 
very big. All right, now when you get into the earbuds themselves, they do not get any smaller with time. They are very, very large. These are massive, massive earbuds, and you really just need to know that going in. You're gonna be dealing with something that's quite large, but for how big they are, they're extremely comfortable in the ear, and they don't fall out. So that is where it's kind of like a paradox. You're like, okay, they're giant earbuds, but they don't fall out of your ear easily, so that is very shocking. Let's talk about the button pressing. So when you push this button in, it does kind of push the earbud down into your ear canal, which is a little bit annoying and I kind of wish that wasn't the case. But nonetheless, the button pressing was good. Double tap on the right to skip forward, double tap on the left to skip back. One single press and it pauses. One single press and you can answer phone calls. Let's talk about the call quality. These have crystal clear microphones. I was totally blown away. People said these were probably the best sounding headphones, earbuds for phone calls, hands down. Let's talk about the indicator lights. So the indicator lights do their job perfectly. I absolutely love the indicator lights. Okay, let's talk about battery life. Battery life is exactly as advertised, maybe a little bit more on the buds themselves and a little bit less on the case. So you're gonna get roughly the exact same amount that they're advertising, so no worries on the battery life. Let's talk about sound quality. So the sound quality for the price is actually really great for the six millimeter drivers. I was blown away by the bass quality, the sound quality, but you need to understand that these are not premium sounding earbuds. So yes, they're cheap and yes, they're great, but they're not premium sounding earbuds. If you want better sounding earbuds, if you're looking for that crisp, perfect audio, you're gonna wanna go with something else. These are not gonna be that. But if you're looking for great all around earbuds, these are the ones people buy them. Let's talk about seamless pairing. These pair up to every device super seamlessly. I paired them up to my iPad, I paired them up to my iPod, paired them up to my Samsung 4K TV, of course paired them to my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, paired them up to my iPhone. Everything that you pair these to, perfect. Super, super easy, love it. All right, let's talk about comfort. These are the probably the most comfortable earbuds I've ever owned like they are so so comfortable for how big they are they shouldn't be as comfortable as they are they fit in your ear they actually look pretty decent they're huge they stick out a lot but they look really decent and i like that a lot so i have to give them huge props for comfort and for the style so you're getting a very stylish earbud even though they're not super expensive yeah so all in all i'm going to give these a solid 4.3 star rating i'm going to say for budget earbuds for the price that they're at right now i don't know what the price is going to be at later but the price they're at right now phenomenal you can't beat these these are great great earbuds but if you're looking for something a little bit more compact like i said earlier you're going to want to go with the qhqo those are phenomenal sounding earbuds they're cheaper than these and they're very very compact so know what you're buying when you when you are looking at these earbuds the sound quality six millimeter drivers is good but not the premium sounding earbuds out there. Perfect stocking stuffers. These are great for first time earbud users. So if you know um, someone who's elderly, maybe your grandparent, your parent, buy these for them as starter earbuds and then work your way up if they want better sound quality. But these are phenomenal earbuds. They're gonna last a very, very long time. JBL really knows quality. That's one thing I'm going to take away from these budget earbuds is everything that they do is super, super quality. These are the Toyota of earbuds. And right now, the day and age that we're living in, budget earbuds are getting amazing. They're now becoming like smartphones where even the cheapest ones are still good enough to get the job done. Highly recommend it to everyone out there. Buy them as a gift, stocking stuffer. Love it. All right, there you go. That's the JBL by Harman Tune 215. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clank that like button. And if you want to join the At Home with Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 3K. Yes, people, officially a 3K YouTuber. So thankful, so appreciative, so excited. Woo! But I need your help. Yes, you right there. 
tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube, they should go subscribe and watch my channel and help me get to 4,000 subscribers. Oh, that's gonna be a beautiful number. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.